Hey guys, welcome to question 5. So I've already gone ahead and solved this as usual and um, I'm just going to go ahead and walk you guys through how I did every single procedure. So let's check it out. So a car is traveling along a straight horizontal road that takes 170 seconds to travel between two sets of traffic lights at A and B which are 2125 meters apart. So let's assume that point A is this corner here and point B is there. So we know that in the end the total time would be 170 seconds by point B. And we know that the total area is going to be 2,125 meters. Now it says here that the car starts from rest at A, so rest is at zero, and moves with constant acceleration until it reaches speed of 17. So up this slope until it hits a speed of 17. So you mark it there. So just mark this T1 for time one, because we don't know the time yet. The car then maintains the speed before moving with constant deceleration. So again, it maintains the speed for a certain amount of time. Let's call it up to T2 and then it decelerates it right back to rest. Now, this is the important bit. It states here that the magnitude of the deceleration is twice the magnitude of the acceleration. So suppose we call this A. This means that this magnitude here is going to be a total of minus half A. So whatever the acceleration is, half it. Okay, even though it says twice, that it literally, think of it as the inverse. It'd be minus half of it. Okay, now, let's go now. The main part is to try and solve the deceleration, deceleration of the car. Now the way I did this, I approached it in three ways. I labeled it of course A1, A2, A3 so we can work, work over it in segments. But the first thing I did is use the, the, the good old trapezium and just treat this as a trapezium and find the area and match it to the distance. So we could say, okay, using the trapezium rule, I said let the total distance here, so the base, the base of trapezium which will, be, which will have a length of 170 plus the top half which will have a length of the difference between t2 and t1 so i call it t2 minus t1 over 2 so find the average times the vertical height which is 17 and all of this will give us a total area of 20 or 2125 meters so that's done now when you go ahead and tidy this up and do your little maths you should get you should be able to summarize t2 minus t1 as at so that's what it simplifies to now let's go ahead and look at a1 the area one because now we need to work in terms of accelerations here yeah so for a1 I just took all my, I used SUVAT for both of these and said, okay, the initial speed is zero, the final speed is 17, the time taken was T1 minus zero, so time T1, and the acceleration, well, it's just A. So here we're going to say, okay, using an equation with V, U, A, and T, I said, okay, let's use V equals U plus A, T. So then we substitute the, the, the typical figures in and you should be able to simplify this to T1 equals 17 over A. Now repeat the process for A3. This time our initial speed is 17 and it decelerates to a final speed of zero to rest. So and the deceleration is minus half A. And the total time taken here is between 170 and T2. So subtract it. Again, using the same formula, plug it in. You should be able to, in your own way, round this up or make an equation in terms of T2. Now the reason why we do this, T1, T2, is so we can plug it back into this equation here of, of T2 minus T1 equals 80. So we can literally have an equation in terms of just a and lastly when you do this and this one takes a while guys when you're able to solve this you get eventually a equals an answer like this 0.567 yeah and that's it guys i hope this helps and um yeah let me know if you've got any questions for this because these ones are quite challenging and lengthy other than that i shall see you next time ciao